In the 1970s, NASA sent two Viking landers to Mars to search the planet for signs of life. Now, astrobiologist Dirk Schulze Makuch claims the landers did indeed find evidence of microbial life forms on Mars, but may have accidentally destroyed them in the process. The Viking landers, a pair of NASA space probes equipped with both imaging technology and instruments to test for life, touched down on Mars in 1976. There, they began conducting a series of biological tests that to this day remain the only experiments to test for life directly on another planet. Unfortunately, these tests saw contradicting results that have baffled researchers for decades. For example, one of these tests found trace amounts of chlorinated organics, which were assumed to be the result of contamination from Earth and dismissed as, at best, inconclusive evidence of life. But after subsequent explorations, like those by the Phoenix Lander and the Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, scientists now know that those chlorinated organics are indeed native to Mars. Schulze Makuch believes that the very processes used to carry out the tests may have destroyed any evidence of life, perhaps accounting for the experiment's confusing results. He says one of the tests involved adding waiter to samplers of Martian soil to test it for evidence of metabolism and photosynthesis. Scientists were operating under the assumption that life on Mars would be similar to life on Earth, which needs exposure to water to survive. Although the dampened soil was positive for life, the introduction to water may have ultimately drowned the organic microbes, which had likely adapted to the dryness of their habitat. Indeed, in these tests, evidence of life was stronger in the dry control run, in which water was not added to soil samples. Now, Schulze suspects Mars may be home to dry adapted microbial life forms containing hydrogen peroxide, which would allow the cells to draw water from the atmosphere. This theory might help explain another of the Viking experiments, which involved heating soil samples to separate their materials. Recent analysis suggests this process may have incinerated the organic material the experiment was designed to find. If the Martian cells contained hydrogen peroxide, Schulze explains, the heat would have not only killed them, but caused the hydrogen peroxide to interact with nearby organic compounds, yielding carbon dioxide, which is likely what Viking instruments were detecting. In short, Schulze argues that the processes used to test soil samples for life on Mars, and which were used to claim there was no evidence of it, may actually be responsible for the lack of evidence. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.